When I was president of the Women's Forum of New York in 2011, we launched the first biennial Breakfast of Corporate Champions at the New York Stock Exchange. We built it and they came. 300 CEOs, directors, executives, and thought leaders to honor those S&P 500 and Fortune 1000 companies with 20% or more women on their boards. This event really does recognize and celebrate how change happens. It happens when you convene company and board decision makers to talk about how to get to gender parity. It happens when you honor those leading the way. And it happens when you continue to raise the bar. I think the best way to advocate for gender parity comes from the top of an organization. It has to be the chairman and CEO who set the tone above all else that this is a critical business issue. It's a business imperative, not just the right thing to do. More women at the table means more diverse and inclusive thinking, which leads to more comprehensive decision making, the avoidance of groupthink, and ultimately better business outcomes. You've got to help people understand their own mental maps under which they are systematically undervaluing what these women can do in the boardroom. And although it's a discussion for another day, there are only three African-American CEOs in the Fortune 500. Where there is diversity around the table, it creates a culture where people go into it expecting that they can learn, knowing that they have to listen, knowing that they don't have all the answers and that their perspective isn't the only perspective. We ask CEOs to sponsor board-ready women who we put in the Women's Forum database and export to the Equilar data set. The Women's Forum of New York is dedicated to the advancement of women's leadership through our corporate board initiative, programming, and education fund. Our partnership with Equilar allows us to build a strong network of board-ready women. We have over 200 Women's Forum members listed on their database. And since 2017, 20% of them have been placed on a board. This high level of engagement takes us one step closer to parity every day. We should keep the bigger picture in mind, the picture that goes beyond women in leadership positions and on corporate boards today. We have to keep a focus on the next generation of women in the workplace, and by extension, that next generation of women leaders. This conversation that we've been having for a long time has now moved from something that's been a little bit off to the side to being front and center in the thinking of, of uh, business leaders, uh, journalists, and uh, shareholders. And I think that's a sign of great success. Since 2011, we have had over 100 CEOs and directors speak out at the Breakfast of Corporate Champions on the business imperative for gender parity and how to make it happen. This has been a decade of driving change, and the Women's Forum of New York is proud of the impact we have had by convening powerful leaders, honoring the game changers who are leading the way, and inspiring action in others.